Thank you once again for choosing fitness with Michael. Also remember, you shouldn't start an exercise program or an eating plan without consulting a doctor first. And make sure to sh uh, click on the subscribe and give me a thumbs up, please. Watch, watch this video. Um, today I'm going to be talking, you see my thing, it's about candy, okay? We're going to be talking about your, your eating, your eating for your optimal uh, fitness, bodybuilding, health. Um, a few things that I'm going to touch more on in future videos are um, you got to organize your, your meals. First of all, we, we, you all know already from watching my other videos, we're talking about eating clean. You got to eat clean. We're going to talk more about what clean really is and everything in future videos. But um, you got to organize your meals. Get your meals organized the day before, or the week of, you know, all, all that stuff. Get your, get your meals organized. Um, have them prepared, the meals prepared, whatever you can prepare ahead of time. Uh, you go to your store, you, you, you get everything, make sure that everything's all organized. Because if things aren't organized and you have to, uh, you're hungry, you, you're falling behind on eating a meal at the time that you usually eat it, you might grab whatever you can grab fast and, and it, it might not be the best thing. Uh, uh, make sure you, you, your cupboard and your freezer and your uh, refrigerator you have only the clean foods, only the things that you should be eating. Um, if you have family members in the house that are not going to be dieting or eating correctly or eating clean and everything, that's pre uh, that causes a little bit of, a, of an issue here, which we'll talk more about that in future videos. But in the meantime, try to just keep your things separate from theirs. Um, snacks. Snacks are a meal. If you're having a snack, that is considered a meal. So don't just think, oh, it's a snack. It's a considered a meal. Um, you need carbohydrates to fuel and recover after your workouts. You need those things. Um, you should ultimately be eating great whole grains, fruits, vegetables. That's what you should be eating. But you, you need faster digesting carbs uh, after the workout to recover from the workout. And uh, that's where the candy comes in. This is one of those secret weapons I was telling you about that you're not going to hear a lot of people talking about this. Um, the candy... Uh, carbohydrates, uh, quickly digested carbohydrates, are converted quickly into glucose. And once that's in your body, all carbohydrates, once that's created in your body, the glucose, all carbohydrates are treated the same way in, their body, in your body. Whether it's broccoli, whether it's candy, no matter what it is, it's all treated the same in your body. But don't go overboard. You know what I mean? This doesn't give you uh, the right to just eat all the candy you want to eat. You want to try to keep this to a minimum. Now, there are different kinds of candy you could eat. Some, from my experience, stuff like candy bars or uh, creamy candies, if you can visualize this, uh, peanut butter cups and uh, uh, different kinds of candy bars, like I was saying and everything. They don't seem to work as well as my favorite is jelly beans. And everybody that knows me, he always said, oh, he's eating jelly beans again. It's unbelievable. I like jelly beans. You know, you can eat gummy bears. You can eat other things, Hershey's Kisses, you know. But again, that's a little creamy. I don't prefer that so much. But the jelly beans, you can, you can, you can control those. You can eat just a few jelly beans and control the amount that you're eating there. Uh... Everybody's different. You got to experiment with you, you, what works best for you. But I like the jelly beans. The jelly beans work the best for me and everything. Because candy releases insulin, okay, which helps put proteins and carbohydrates into your muscles and helps a protein synthesis, which, uh, which if you have, uh, uh, it helps uh, the recovery, helps build muscle. More muscle means faster metabolism. Faster metabolism equals less body fat. So um, that's one of the little tricks. Just eating a little candy. Jelly beans is my favorite. Another thing that 
here's another time of the day that this might help you. Sometimes, if you're having problems going to sleep, you know what I mean? Rather than taking a sleep aid or all those other things and everything, a little candy, everybody's different, but a little candy for me, a few jelly beans seems to help. Okay, now, I, what do you guys think about this? I mean, uh, have you tried it also? If not, try the candy. See how this works. After you work out, try this a little candy. You know, uh, the, the, the more intense your workout, some people actually do the candy during the workout also. I don't do that. I like it afterwards. Um, but tell me what you think also. Secret weapon candy is the, a secret weapon you can use. People are going to be like, how, does, how do they, he's eating candy and he's losing body fat and, and, and he's gaining muscle. I don't understand this, you know. You'll see. Okay. Uh, once again, thank you very much for choosing Fitness with Michael. Please hit that subscribe button. You're going to miss videos. You're going to miss important stuff if you don't do that. We're trying to get, I'm just starting out here. You know what I mean? The, this is, this, this stuff you're learning. Oh my gosh. You're going to learn tricks and just going to, you're going to blow away your competition. Um, and uh, give me a thumbs up, please. Thank you very much and have a great day.